Ladies and gents, Six Figs here from YouTube. In today's video, well, we're going to be talking about Definity's internet computer. Even got the Roly on for this one. If you know about the Roly, you were one of the elite people that were able to be together in a foreign country. And you know the story behind this Rolex. Unfortunately, I cannot say it right now or here because what happens in other countries stays in other countries, folks. But we are going to be talking about Definity ICP, the news, which is kicking ass today. I wanted to start things off with this tweet I dropped the other day. Now, I asked people to share this. And this was basically a mega thread of how FTX and everybody kind of uh, like Alameda Research really rug pulled the ICP token launch. And what really gets me, folks, is when influencers or uneducated people that just haven't seen this data will post a chart of the ICP token and it's just straight down. But then what they don't understand is that FTX and Alameda Research and Sam Bankman Freed made it this way they absolutely organized uh, an attack on the token launch to wash everybody out uh, so if you're interested in this i will pin a link to this tweet in the description or the uh, pinned comment so let's get going here we've got a a, a banger of a tweet here from at stack.money icp has been updated 645 times in the last month and really I'm not a developer, I'm not a coder, I don't know how often other chains get updated, but when I can come and see that ICP and Definity is actually updating the chain significantly over the last month, 645 times, it tells me they're there, they care about it. They want this thing to be as good as it can possibly be. Now we had a tweet out of BitBoy Crypto, and uh, you know what, be before I get into this tweet, you know. I you know, why I am so appreciative of uh, of Ben, BitBoy, is that when I had uncovered that FTX and Alameda and Sam Bankman Freed had done all this stuff to the ICP token launch, for eight months, I tried everything to get this information out. I was a small channel, unsuccessful for the most part. The ICP community and Definity community learned about this, but they are really the only people that cared about this information, obviously. But Ben, BitBoy Crypto, was the only person that heard me out and actually analyzed the evidence that I had against FTX and Sam Bankman and Alameda for doing what they did to the ICP token launch. And that, folks, is why I love the guy so much. Uh, you know what? He's the only person that actually heard me out at an, a high-end in influencer level. Uh, so I, I, I'm very much appreciative of, of that and what he has done to help spread awareness about what happened, that this wasn't a rug pull project. Uh, but anyways, uh, he goes on to say, it's obvious when you look at Senator Warren's donors that she fights for the billionaires, not against them. She is an absolute fraud. And Ben is absolutely right. Now, when we look at uh, Warren's uh, contributors, political contributions, a lot of them are coming from Google, which guess what? Crypto is really hustling some of these uh, search domains, Apple, Amazon. Microsoft, Walt Disney, AT&T, a lot of tech companies in here, right? Uh, so it, it's interesting to see some of these numbers. And she is definitely a, sp a paid spokesman for uh, these companies. No doubt about it. Da Vinci, man, dropping some heat with the infinity loop that kind of has ICP colors. This could be a coincidence, right? The idea of blockchain is to move a value-based system where everyone pays for the service they use instead of contributing to the bottom line of large tech conglomerates. And that is, that couldn't be further from the truth. And this kind of ties into this tweet right here, right? All the, you know, Senator Warren's afraid of crypto because without, you know, if crypto takes over, uh, she's not getting any of these donations at all. Uh, so when, when Da Vinci comes on and makes this statement, uh, the potential 
of blockchain is huge and infinity, infinite, excuse me. Uh, this, folks, I am so excited about Inside Dark Studio. I just heard about these guys. They were off my radar, but I saw this clip, which was absolutely badass. And this is a game that is being built on the internet computer. It's already built on the internet computer. And this looks like I'm playing like a Halo, one of those games, something like that. But it's pretty good, and uh, yeah, I'm impressed. And I'm gonna try to get these guys on my YouTube channel so they can tell us more about their game because I think it would be really cool. But for now, make sure you guys are following uh, iDark Studio on Twitter so you guys can stay updated. And it was interesting because there was also someone else down here in the comments that was asking questions about how much of this stuff was on chain. And Inside Dark Studio replied and said, the only thing that is not on chain is the multiplayer server. Here's an article explaining everything. So thanks to like HTTPS out calls on the internet computer, this is possible. So we have a blockchain that can talk to any other entities or, or anything like that. Uh, so super bullish on Inside Dark Studio. Great game, you guys. Internet computer up 5.7% on the week, trading at $5.22. We got the Wyckoff accumulation scheme. <clears throat> excuse me. Now I want you guys to, <clears throat> excuse me, oh my gosh. Now I want you guys to just, create a mental visual of this for what it is that I'm about to show you. Because you are gonna learn today about where Bitcoin dominance possibly could be when it comes down to a Wyckoff and save the jokes, right? Because Wyckoff, Wackoff, you guys get where I'm going with that. And you guys, are, you guys have some dirty minds out there. But the accumulation schematic number one. If we look at this on a super high level, what is it that we see? Well, if we look at this, we've got the spring here, and I suspect that we have passed through phase C and are now on phase D, looking to enter phase E. So mental note, now you can see that this could possibly be the spring here. We've got phase C right in here, and we've got phase D right in here. And what I strongly suspect is going to happen here is we're gonna get some sort of flag or some sort of symmetrical triangle or pennant or something like that to form, maybe even some sort of ascending triangle or something like that. And once that forms, and we will see which way Bitcoin dominance will break out. So the less dominant Bitcoin is, the more the alts tend to rally, right? Because we can kind of see, let's just take uh, Monday, June 13th, Monday, June 12th, for example, Bitcoin dominance was way up, right? So the 13th and then all the way through September 7th, let's just kind of mark those mentally. Now let's hop on over to the ICP chart. And when we look at the 12th, 13th, you can see that was the peak of Bitcoin dominance in that chart that I just showed you and prices went all the way up. Eh, here's, here's September. So, I mean, price action did increase even though Bitcoin dominance was going down. So that is awesome to see. What's going on right now? Well, it's been a couple days since I've done a video on ICP, folks. I've just been busy and I've just kind of been waiting for this whole skin cancer thing on my cheek to really heal up because it's been looking terrible. Uh, so with that said, I do believe that there could possibly be some sort of symmetrical triangle squeeze that is going on. And I am happy that right now, as of right now, uh, we have kind of exited uh, this little symmetrical triangle that I drew up. I do want to caution people that this symmetrical triangle might straighten out on this four hour chart if we get rejected by this 200 moving average. My biggest thing here is that uh, we don't see this head and shoulders pattern execute. Uh, but for now, I do suspect that one of two things are going to happen. We are going to see uh, this dog leg. This is, this is part of an impulse wave here, folks. So we're either going to see uh, this ABC corrective wave happen or we're going to see 
maybe some sort of uh, ABC corrective wave fill out in this fashion. So unless we get rejected really at this 200 moving average, I'm not really making any upside calls at this time. But if we do get an upside movement, I do think that we could get resistance around this $5.77 line. And that's because we've had two areas of resistance there before. And at that point, we might be kind of filling out some sort of an ascending triangle, which would be extremely bullish to see. Uh, so with that said, folks, I mean, we're just kind of playing the waiting game to see what happens with this squeeze here. We've got four touch points on the symmetrical triangle. It looks legit. Um, but uh, a lot of times we will see symmetrical triangle forms, you know, form as basically a pause or a continuation pattern. So like I said, I do suspect that if we start seeing stuff go to the downside, this could be a continuation uh, down to at least $4.50, uh, somewhere in that range uh, for now. Until we figure out which way this price is going to go, that's kind of where we're standing right now at this moment. So I love you all. See you guys all in the next video.